SP sending up on the top side, telling him good luck. But he does not reply, so. It's a little bit busy just summoning those skills, and that's understandable. Yeah, Ice Spirit from SB and a Mega Minion in the back. No one really showing. Oh, but oh. there we go. Ho shows that he is playing a three Musketeer deck. The Fireball comes in, essentially nullifying the two Musketeers there. Yeah, but what about that one Musketeer on the left? Uh, we've got the Gods coming in from the front, and the three Royal Hall is going to be jumping in on the left. And the Musketeer and the Pekka just working in partnership to make sure the damage does come through. And once again, the Ice Spirit does a very good job of stopping the damage coming from that one Musketeer. Yeah, the mini Pekka on the defense there was just incredible. One hit, one kill on those hogs. The mini Pekka definitely has bacon for breakfast today. That's what it is, and we're going to see it just go out. From the defense coming in from Ho, and it's going to be very much validated, but... SB, uh, really other than defending, he hasn't really sent out an offensive tool himself. So that last reveal car is something that we might see come into play. It is the giant, as I can see in his hand. He is tapping it here. So is it a giant? Oh. It is a giant, man. You giant, giant three muskies egg is something so commonly seen, but no, this time it's gonna be a giant. SB has the giant. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be a giant one musketeer deck. This is what I'm surprised about. And we're gonna see what happens here. The fireball. We'll get all three. That's maximum fun for SB. He's gonna be very, very happy about that one. Yeah, that was that was uh, calculated by inches. That was timely. Because if if it was a little bit late, that would have missed all the musketeers. Yeah, it was. Each of those Musketeers was on the edge of the radius, and down comes the Giant. What does Ho have to answer? Fireball. He does try to answer with the Musketeer, uh, with the Hogs there. A lot, and the Musketeer will clean this up, but how much damage is going to get done? Probably down to about 1,500 there. Yeah, 1,650, so what are we going to see? The Hunter is a great answer to the Giant, though. But not at far range, though, as you can already notice, and the Zap and the Fireball will be good enough, and the three Muskies are finally back to get the action back on the way. And the Giant and the Musketeer in coordination will do a lot of damage already to this left tower. 9.03 on the count. The Ice Spirit on the right will do the defense for the side of SB. But on the left side, what have we got? Yeah, on that right, we do see the Hawks come down and the Mini Pekka is used against the Royal Ghost there. <gasps> I think this is a good one for Ho. I think he just gave the log back out of the way. But these two Musketeers are not going to be well defended for. The Ice Spirit does come in. That's going to oh. hold it. He's only going to take a little bit more damage on that's that That's actually tower. brilliant. That defense, that quick cycle that was coming from Ho. I thought he was going to be heavily punished by there. But that one uh, elixir trade of the Ice Spirit to make sure it's a small and minimize the damage for SP was very well taken down there. Yeah, this time Ho puts the hogs down on the other side. The fireball comes in. The Musketeer will clean them up before they get to the tower. One hog two muskies on the right with the two muskies and the Ice Spirit on the other side. That is... Dangerous oh, no. for that tower, it's the last oh, no. card fireball. And it seems like that's gonna be coming into play here. 602 on the right side, 532. As we see continual offense coming from the other end. The poison is gonna be the last revealed card, but one more bite coming in. 48, 21, and that will be it with the log, and that will be the one to knock on SP. Once again, Simon, you talk about impossibilities in play. SP is already knocked away. We go. Jacke in red at the top of the screen. Ho in blue at the bottom. We can start it off with Ho just on the bats. And we're gonna see the split the car just cycling through. Electro Wizard right there. We're gonna see the elixir collector from Ho. I told you it's gonna be a little bit different, but finally we're gonna see a very aggressive push. Seeing that elixir collector gonna take care of the advantage that the elixir leaf that they initially have bought the thrift. The minion horde is gonna be an absolute nightmare for Ho, and it just seems like the lightning will be the answer, but it's a little bit too late. Already, Elixir Collector has done its work here. Does it matter though? That giant got so much damage done. Oh, the, the battering ramp Doesn't almost matter. connected, but the two minions. barbarians and two minions remain. That's it. That tower is not long for it's this gone. world. It's gone. There's no way it's gonna survive for that one, but as I say that, Elixir Wizard. It's going to be there in time, 207 on the left. If you talk about why that was so important to make sure that Elixir Collector didn't go out, was that the Giant and the things pushed in with the Electro Wizard, and it got decent depth getting down to 1076. But otherwise, just that Electro Wizard in that situation with the Mini Horde was able to get damage out. It's basically over. That's it. What, what anti-air really does Shake have here? It doesn't look like he's actually bought any anti-air. Nothing to defend these mega min the, the minion hordes that are coming in. Yes, lightning, but against the minion horde, let's do that one. 
He has Hunter and Electro Wizard. That's it from what we can see. Hunter does well against the Mini Horde situationally, but in that instance when the Giant is rushing with it, no way on that one. Yeah, it looks like Jacque has definitely been hard counted here by Ho. Ho, I, his deck is just... I, I will say that this is purely the Minion Horde that is winning this, because there is just no anti-air for Jacque. And it's the deck creativity. That's why you have to really congratulate him upon, because I hope really talk about surprising out your opponent. Last time around, the mini horn wants to get here. But there's nothing for him to do. Let's show wizard in the middle of all of those things. It's definitely not going to survive for the longest of time. And we're going to see once again getting it down to 151. It is only a couple of spells away. And the giant rushing in on the left, hoping to get the right answer. But the three musk is going to finally make its reveal. And it's going to only get two of the muskies. So I don't know if that was the best deal whatsoever, but still moving towards just get this one tower. Eventually will, but the full tower on the right side is going to be at the wall for Jacques, as only 151 remains on his left tower. Yeah, and Ho doesn't have a spell to finish this out. The Zap only does 56 damage, which means uh, it's going to need five. three Battle to be able to take that Anything. tower. Talk about the Hunter gone. Now you have the Electro Wizard hoping to do all the right things, but okay. So we're going to see a rush yet coming through. That's it. Musk is in the pocket. That's all he needed there. And Ho takes game two against AHQ Esports Club. So match point now for King's Own Dragon X's Ho. Or will Master Hong be able to reverse this and take the victory for AHQ Esports Club? We're about to get into this. And let's see if the deck selection that Ho brings now will finish this third game. Might be a Lava Loon right here for Ho as he stands at the tombstone, but we're still in the unknown question marks about it. And the Ice Wizard comes into play on the right side, just cycling through it. Baby Dragon is very much aggressive in the front line and trying to make sure he gets the little skeleton with every little spit that he does. And Mega Minion is going to be there on the right side on defense for Ho, and it's going to be able to survive for the time being. It's going to be a huge push coming in on the opposite end. And the uh, Warrior Hawks doing a very good job, and the Log's going to do some damage to this, but Ho is going to miss out on the Lumberjack. He might just regret on that one, but still gets the good damage with the Warrior Hawks, starting with the game here. The Golem needs to come down for Master Hong relatively soon because this is definitely a golem deck, right? There is no way this isn't a golem deck, and you can actually see it if you look at the top, uh, the left-hand side of the screen. So he is going to be playing the log deck against the three hogs, and that is not a great matchup because you never really carry that much AOE. Just trying to defend first because you know, reaching the one-minute mark where Master Hong was waiting to send out that golem. Uh, we're going to see what happens here because it seems all throughout we're going to get the defense that's still very much going for Master Hong. Just waiting for that one-minute mark. And once again, you're going to see all this come into play. The fireball that will be very prevalent. That's uh, going to get the Tornado to reel these piggies right into the King's Tower. Opening it up by 843. You're going to feel a little bit nervous if you're Master Hong. Yeah, 843 remaining. Those hogs are getting so much work done for Ho here. And I'm not sure if Master Hong has an answer to the Hawks if they come down right now. Let's and a cannon right now. card. Oh, nothing. OK, he's going to have the Night Witch. It will destroy the cannon for the meantime, but means uh, no Night Witch right behind the goal. And that's going to be something of an extra utility tool that he's going to lose out now. Yeah, it weakens the push ever so slightly for Master Hong. And the Hawks are coming in. The Fireball against the Baby Dragon and the Tower. And that Tower is, oh, it took so much damage down to 322 and the Tombstone to pull that Golem over to the other side. The Lumberjack comes in for Master Hong. Is it going to be able to oh, go to the tower? Oh, good tornado going towards the cannon card. Just going to pull it all the way. Oh, and the counter tornado to bring the cannon card right back into action. It's doing its job. And the golem is still pushing on. And the lumberjack was very much of a threat. For the meantime, 979. As we're going to see, 926. Still pushing forward here. The baby dragon raged up with the mega minion coming in the front. That's got to get the tower. And Master Hong will get the victory with one second left to go. That was ridiculously close there for Master Hong. He looked on the back foot 98% of that game and just gets, I think it was just one golem push, right? Let's get into this once again. Uh, good luck's being thrown out on both sides and, oh wow, being shown up by Big Daddy. He's surprised about something there. Probably surprised that he had to play right now, that Master Hong has, uh, you know, started the reverse sweep 
defeated him before. That's probably why the wows are coming. Wow, out. you know. I mean, we could create any story about those wows, and that is the worst one I possibly could. Hey, have you created. know, I'll create a better one right now. He's probably. I bet that he's probably saying wow because of your statement about uh, Dark Souls just about a little bit earlier <laughs> about beating in a hard mode. Almost impossible was your phrase of font, sir. Now we'll see wow to that too, and Big Daddy agrees with me here. Either that or he's channeling his inner Owen Wilson. Either that wow. or he... Hey, you know what? Either that or he just made a mistake. <laughs> that could be possible though. All right, so we do see the Mega Minions here. It looks as though Master Hong is once again bringing oh, a Golem deck, but the Lava Hound comes down. So he's <gasps> going to try and sneak oh. in that Lumberjack. Oh my goodness, that's it. Oh, the guards just in time. I thought that was going to be the difference maker right now. And this heavy risk that Master Hong just pulled for himself, this might cost him here. I don't think it's going to cost him that much. The poison does come down, and only Beautiful. one of the, the pups survives. Very well-timed poison. Knew exactly when to do it, but that was almost the craftiest lumberjack <laughs> I've ever seen. The window was open, and suddenly Big Daddy just closed it in his face. Okay, now we see the tombstone on the other side for Big Daddy, just trying to reel in the golem as furthest as he can. But the Master Tong, we know this is a very conventional, typical meta golem deck right now in this meta. If they see the Prince, that will be the completion of what I know about this deck. Yep. I don't think we're going to see the Prince in this one, though. So he does throw down the Mega Minion, uh, Mega Minion, yeah, to take on that Lava Hound. As the Minions come in from Big Daddy, which are going to clean that up. The Night Witch summoned really far back, which means the Bats are going to try and take down that Lava Hound. There's going to be four Bats against it. Fireball comes in to take those out, though. The Pups are there. The Pups are doing damage. But look at the damage being done by that Golem at the bottom. 1,276 remains on Big Daddy's bottom right. And 1,252 is on Master Hong's top right. Very similar right now in terms of damage. And this Golem once again is going forward with this Lumber Deck trying to speed things up. And the Baby Dragon is there just to clean out the Tombstone as best as he can. And once again, the Night Witch is trying to provide defense and provide those extra bats for support here. And it seems like the Golem is going to be tornadoed away just making sure that explosion damage doesn't come towards the tower. Yeah, and this time it looks as though Big Daddy has a huge advantage in his attack, but that baby dragon uh, does so much work. 356 remain. That's it. Poison comes it. down. He does need extra damage off this poison, so the baby dragon is going to be there. Will it be able to get any hits? No. The Lava Hound comes in. One more poison. Big That's Daddy has to finish this. Doesn't even right have to now. have the golem right now. He just needs to defend, defend, defend until he can just basically get along and one more poison all to do. One shot from the back almost would have done it, but the poison is all he needs. And Master Hong, as we kind of imagined this would be, a reverse sweep well into action now. And this final match will probably conclude the domination of this player you see right now on your screen. Master Hong, a truly a master card this entire day and the entire weekend. It's important because Expo Master has not dropped a single game in this King of the Hill format. Four wins and zero losses. But this is where it could all change. Master Hong has shown that he is an incredible player. Time and time again in this league. Is he going to be able to show it now? The Lumberjack comes down. Expo drops down the Ice Golem. On the right side, I think he would have dropped it on the left side just to pull things away and has to waste a lot of long so two extra glitters spent just to stop the attack. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter as he climbs up to 10 Elixir at the same time that Master Hong has been sitting on 10 Elixir. And right now... Oh, Expo. Are you serious? Are we going to see the Expo from the Expo Master? Are we going to see this? Are we going to see it? We're going to see the Archers. And that means the Expo is going to be coming through into play. The Lightning will be there, but the damage is already happening. Yeah, it's already connected onto the tower. And oh this is what goodness. we like to see from Expo Master. So much damage being done here. The Ice Spirit there takes out the bats as the tower cleans up that Night Witch. And, I mean, Expo Master here has made a huge lead for himself. That was the most welcoming set of archers I've ever seen in my Castle Clash Royale. I wanted to see the Expo from the Expo Master. How fitting! Finally, we get it! Yeah, we've been waiting for this a long time. I got to see it in CCGS last year, uh, and now I get to see it in Sierra Malaysia. It doesn't oh, care. Oh, it's against the Golem deck, the hard counter to the Expo deck. We know how frustrating it can be to play against the Golem deck if you are an Expo player. But the Inferno Tower is going to change that story. Yeah, the Inferno Tower replacing the Tesla Tower here is great, but the Inferno oh. Tower connected onto the Lumberjack, which is going to rage up those Golems just enough so that they can finish off that Expo. And you saw Expo Master there blow up his fringe 
he was not happy at that. And you're seeing the Golden Dagger is an absolute devastation if you are Expo Master. Putting out the Archer once again, putting out the Expo. Just in quick cycle over the all of that will eventually come forward. But the damage will be coming from towards the Tombstone and towards the Night Witch as well. Doesn't he have enough elixirs now? Summon the Golden. I think he just might, but just going to go for the Lightning instead. But still taking a lot of damage. 620 on the right side now. Yeah, got four hits with that Expo there. A very, very good thing for Expo Master. All he needs is that repeated three or four more times, and he's going to have this. Ah, and it. the Expo dropped again, but the Golem is there to tank this up. The Infernal Tower will be awaiting to take down and melt down the entirety of this push, and the Expo will all be so, so ready to take out the remainder of the side of Master Han. It seems like over time, we're going to see the end of all this. The Archer is helping out on defense. The Mega Minion will be there as well, looking towards all this great defense once again, cycling through. And he's going to have a really quick cycle going back to the Expo once again. All we're going to see, 536, is that going to be good enough? Well, we've got to wait and see. Expo Masters has been defending inch perfectly right now. He is taking very little damage on his towers. Okay. But that could all change. That was a good lightning there. Let's and the up. tower is down. Let's go up. I don't know if it's going to be able to stop here by Expo Master. He's trying to go for all the defense, trying to cycle through every single unit that he has. The Golem will make the explosion. 1709 on the right side. The Golemites are pushing through. The Mega Minion is pushing in. And we're gonna still going to see the defense pretty successful there. 1391. All we can see the Expo now. Yeah, those Archers. MVP there. He had four of them at the same time. But the problem is Master Hong can keep cycling to this Golem. The poisons are coming down. He does need a few more poisons to be able to finish this off, though. Actually, yeah, he needs two poisons or that log. He needs one poison, and there it. it is, oh my Expo goodness. Master. Oh my goodness. Why are you so good at playing Expo? That was ridiculous. When his team needs him to pull out the final boss card,